Hey everyone, Mike over here, Bobcat Technical Support again. Just here to show you about a uh, really cool tool path that not many people know about. It's the V-Carve. Uh, really good for, you know, making nice pockets and actually giving, giving something a little bit more character than just the normal straight pocket that you normally run into. Um, notice you only get this if you guys have the uh, Bob Art plug-in. So if it's something that you guys don't have on your license, that you're not going to have the V-Carve. Uh, toolpath. So first things first, I've already gone through and set up my stock. You know, you can see my geometry here. It's the Bobcat Cat uh, and a ellipse around the outside. Uh, but when I right click on uh, machine setup, we're going to go down to mill 3 axis. And mill 3 axis gives us the others. We have 3D engraving and then V-carve. So I'm going to go ahead and hit V-carve, go to next. For my geometry, I'm actually just going to go in and select the whole thing and then hit OK. You know, nothing too hard about this at all. There's rarely a time when you can't just go through it. Um, so I'm first going to skip these three pages and go right down to parameters because there's something very important to this and it kind of doesn't go in order. Uh, our pocketing parameters, we can either go none, we can use a V tool, or we can use an end mill. Now with a V tool to pocket, you know, we're going to end up with, with uh, ridges everywhere. But if I use an end mill, you know, I could go in and use a flat end mill, and it'll actually pocket it out and then give me nice angled walls around the outside. So that's the whole reason that I went that way. Now you can see that instead of just having a V tool, I now have a rough tool as well. So I can go ahead and hit rough, and a quarter inch is fine. You know, that'll work for me. And then my V tool. I don't really want to use a quarter inch V tool. I'm going to take it down to an eighth inch. That's really all I have to change uh, for all of this kind of stuff. Uh, the next step is go to the parameters page. Now for the parameters, I'll pick my pocket depth at an eighth inch. I'll change my depth of cut to an eighth inch. And I'm going to change my percentage to 35%, just so we're not stepping over too much. Don't want to lose anything or miss anything. Um, now the V-Tool pocket depth, we'll go right there to, to an eighth inch. Now our roughing step over for the V-Tool is, you know, it's going to go in and do its first rough cut and clean up as much as it can. And then our VTool cleanup step over. You can notice this is very small. Um, you do not need it to be that small. But it's good for cleaning up corners or anything like that. So let's go ahead and compute our toolpath. And already right now, if I rotate it a little bit, you can see the little bit of depth that it gives it. And like I said, a little bit more character to it already. So let's go to a top view. And you know, that's how it's going to look. You can see where it's really, really small. You know, very small step overs in there that where it's going to be very tight and very clean. So let's go ahead and check out the simulation of this thing and actually see how it cuts. So let me turn it on this view here. Get rid of my toolpath because we don't need to see it. And then get rid of the initial stock so you can see it a little bit better. Now I have it going pretty fast to run right through this. Um, and I'll probably end up fast forwarding a little bit. There's our flat end mill as you can see. You know, flat tool just to do all the main pocketing. You know, get get as much bulk of it as you can out. You know, before you actually start doing the V tool, just to save yourself some time. So now you see our V tool is going all the way around and it's cruising along. Gonna keep going, and this is when it starts doing some of those cleanup cuts. When you see it just stop in one area and clean up. There's our nice cleanup cuts. Everything like that. You'll see some edges, and it'll finish its final cleanup. So let me turn off this tool. Go to a top view. You'll see now we can rotate it around and just takes a pocket that would normally just have straight walls and just brings it to a different level where you could actually, you know, have a nice thing that, you know, guys that make engravings and do everything like that. This is going to be a re really, really nice tool for them. Um, so it's something to try out, something to think about. And, uh, yeah, it's perfect.